All right, the next stop on our beer journey takes us to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and another offering from Evil Genius. Uh, I've done quite a few of these. Uh, this will be my eighth review uh, of Evil Genius beers, and this is an IPA called Stacy's Mom. Call back to the song, of course, uh, from back in the day. Um, explosive aroma of tropical lemon, peach, and mango, a new school American IB IPA. So this uh, IPA comes into us at 7.5% ABV, 85 IBUs. Um, Evil Genius, I've had uh, a few uh, of their offerings. Of course, as we mentioned before on past reviews, they like to put in you know movie quotes, uh, famous movie opinions in their title of their beers, like you know Han shot first, stuff like that. Uh, Santa, I know him from from Elf. Uh, very interesting way they uh, uh, title their beers. So um, for this particular IPA, uh, it's higher on the, uh, on the ABV end, of course, being 7.5. It's that kind of like, uh, upper end of the IPA before it can actually graduate to a double IPA, usually at eight. Although I think we reviewed an IPA that was, uh, 8% ABV and wasn't considered a double IPA for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, malts, they use two row and crystal uh, hops is Citra. This is available year-round, uh, and according to the website, dry hopped uh, exclusively with Citra hops, soft on the palate with extremely low bitterness. It has an aroma of tropical fruits, lemon peel, peach and mango, complemented by a slightly toasted malt base. And they kind of uh, push that this beer is uh, an IPA for those who don't necessarily like IPAs. So if you don't like IPAs, apparently this is, you know, a beer that sh you should still be okay with, even though it is an IPA. So I'm kind of looking for an off IPA, uh, a different tasting IPA, a smooth IPA, because uh, the hot bitterness um, and the harshness of the taste, you know, the grapefruitiness, the um, citrusy, you know, Bitterness is usually what turns people off of the IPA if they don't like that taste. Uh, so I'm a little bit skeptical of this one because uh, I'm seeing aroma of tropical fruits, lemon peel, peach, and mango. Kind of sounds like like an IPA to me. Maybe without, maybe not the peach part of it though. So curious to try this one. Uh, this is an IPA that has a a mid-level orange pour, as you can see. Uh, usually this pour means it's going to be very, very fruity tasting, very citrusy. Uh, so there you can see a lot of stuff going on. You can barely see my hand through it. Very, very thin head on this beer, maybe uh, about a, an eighth of a head, and it's dissipating even, even now, so it's a very, very low film on it. So that's another point to talk about. Uh, Aroma-wise, very curious at that, so we'll see. Very faint aroma, but I'm getting a very dank... A dank peach smell. Almost like grapefruit uh, kind of smell. So that smell that you would normally get from this style of beer I'm getting, but in a very, very faint way. I'm not getting it like really, I have to kind of dig deep to kind of get the aroma here. So let's get the taste now. Hmm. Decent mouth feel, I should say. Um, right at the front of the tongue, I'm getting a grapefruit taste. A little bit of peach, a little bit of mango. And not really too much harsh hot bitterness in the back of the throat. I'm really, really impressed by that because I was thinking, how can this be different than a normal IPA? Um, especially coming in at 7.5% ABV. Um, 
It does have a little bit of bitterness, but not really as much as uh, a normal IPA might have uh, on the back of the tongue. Uh, not getting so much of a full taste, but I'm not getting a watered down taste. Yeah, the full mouth feel is not quite there uh, in this. It's uh, it's decent. It is reminiscent of a cantaloupe. Um, grapefruit as well, but I'm not really getting a full feeling, and I'm not really getting a harshness at all in the back of the throat, and uh, I know that while they say that this is the IPA for people who don't like IPAs, I still want some bitterness in this style, like, I mean, if you don't like an IPA, why would you ever try an IPA? You'd go on to another style. Um... But I do, I do like the effort here. So I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Stacy's mom a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, good look to it. Uh, good, uh, the aroma is a little bit, you know, I had to kind of dig deep to kind of get the real true aroma of this beer. And the taste is good in that it's smooth, but just not quite the oomph that I want. Even on the front of the palate, not getting... Uh, a full taste, and on the back, I'm not getting that bitterness, even though I know it's advertised as not bitterness, but uh, it's kind of meh to me. It's just not, not quite up there, but decent. It's not terrible. And I shouldn't say meh when I'm giving something a 7.5 out of 10, which is a good score. Um, kind of strange beer to, to review, quite frankly, but, uh, but good nonetheless. So 7.5 out of 10 for Stacy's mom.